Hey guys, Danny Johnson here and I want to show you this flywheel locking tool. And so uh, first of all, we're going to show you how to install it. And you want to start off disconnecting the negative battery terminal. Since this is down near the starter and there is power that goes to the starter, even with the vehicle off, it's crucial for you to take the battery cable off. We're going to do the negative battery terminal uh, before we get started so that we don't have uh, any sparks flying down here. Underneath the vehicle, here's the starter on the GM trucks like this. It's very simple. It's just two 13 millimeter bolts. They're going straight up in there on the end. So just get an extension. Uh, there is a little shield here off to the side, which is a 10 millimeter bolt. Uh, so what I found that worked best to get that off is uh, just a little ratcheting wrench here. And you'll need that as well for an another shield that we'll be taking off. But once we uh, take that uh, and ratchet this out of the way and take that one out, they're really just hand tight once you get them broken loose. You can see we have this disconnected. And so now we got our two bolts out of the way for the starter, just the two 13 millimeter bolts that go straight up in there. They're pretty long bolts. And all you do is grab the starter and walk it towards the front of the vehicle. So we don't have to disconnect any electrical or anything, just push it away. Uh, now that there's this little cover piece that's still up in here, we're gonna take it out. It's just a 10 millimeter socket as well to remove that one. Quarter inch drive worked great. Uh, once we pull this little plate out of the way, now you can see the flex plate of the vehicle, also known as the flywheel. And so you can see the teeth that the starter use. And all we're gonna do is put the tool up in here and we just run the two bolts up in there for the tool. Um, a tip that I would use is get these kind of started and then if you can move the crankshaft back and forth uh, with the 24 millimeter socket on the crankshaft, it helps wiggle this into place. But as you'll see, as you start to put it on, it looks like the teeth aren't uh, fully meshing and don't be too alarmed as you tighten those bolts down all the way, they will mesh completely. Then when you're doing things like uh, taking off the, the uh, variable valve time cam bolt or even the crankshaft bolt, it really helps to be holding the crankshaft still by holding the flywheel in place or the flex plate in place. So very helpful tool. I'll put a link in the description. It was only like 13 bucks and it's a must for breaking loose the bolts as well. If you're going to do the torque converter someday, if you're doing a transmission uh, or in our case, as we're putting new lifters in. So uh, anyway, I'll put uh, the link in the video description for this tool. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Thanks guys.